grain to glass video of this under pressure fermented malty lager. Nice, yes, let's kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery. Well, th this is a beer, but my channel about beer and home brewing. So, grain to glass means that you will see the, the brew day, we run through the recipe, and also we'll taste the beer and see if we can improve it. This video has a sponsor and is sponsored by Angel Yeast. So, I will be using their BF27. This is the first time I use this yeast. It says that it ferments between 10 to 25 Celsius, which is impressive, ideally 10 to 15, but we're gonna ferment it under pressure, so I will ferment it hotter and faster. I'm losing head, and it's a really hot day. I need to dive into this beer, so let's jump over to the brewing footage. How about that? What a beautiful brew day. What you might have spotted is that this was actually a split batch. So I fermented this beer with three different yeast. So in upcoming episodes, we can compare them. I fermented with BF27. I fermented with Saftlager W3470. And Indian yeast claims that BF27 is similar 
to the Saflager W3470. And the third yeast I used was Diamond Lager from Lalleman. So it's gonna be really interesting to try them out, head, head by head, beer by beer. But first, let's dive into this beer while we run through the recipe and the numbers and maybe even see if we can improve on it. So, Malt Lager BF27, let's dive in. Cheers. I should have probably started with like aroma, but I'm so thirsty. Really clean, malty, bready nose from it. And I don't know how this would pick up on camera, but it's it's crystal clear. But I don't know if you can see it. This beer is like three weeks old. Took almost like two weeks for it to clear up in the cake. Really nice, we'll call it amber, mahogany. Yeah. Dry finish, but getting a lot of malty and some sweetness from the malt really interesting malt i used the uh, cara aroma in this one we we'll run through the recipe but that's what gave it the color and gave a really special maltiness to it let's run through the the recipe and all the numbers the recipe in pdf and brxml is already up in the book dr hans recipe book for my patrons to dig into but we will go through everything here if you want to brew this and this is on the Guten 70 so this is for a 63 liter batch i'll give you it in percentage i can give you it in in kilos also maybe the good doctor can translate that convert that into birds and stones also thank you i used seven kilos of pilsner malt or 66.7 percent three kilos of munich malt or 28.6 percent 500 grams of Caramel Aromatic or Cara Aromatic, 4.8%. I matched this at 68C for an hour and did a mash out at 78C. Hop spice for bittering, I use Magnum at 60 minutes, 30 grams, which should give us an IBU of 17. And at the 20 minute mark, I used 33 grams of SAS, which should give us 3.1 IBU with a total of 20 IBUs. I used some yeast nutrient and Rutaflok at around that 20 minute mark also. I did rehydrate the yeast for the best results and I oxygenated my wort with pure oxygen. Then the wort was split up into three different vessels and I added the yeast. It was a little hot. I think I got the temperature down to like 23 Celsius. I left the door open to the brew shed overnight and uh, let some air in and at morning I was down to 18 degrees Celsius. So it started all quite okay in temperature. That's where I like to start my lagers. The next day it got hotter. Got, I think we ended up at like 22 Celsius the next day. And that's what's interesting with lager yeast is if it can work at 10 degrees, how do you think it would perform at 22? So this year's ripped through it under one and a half day fermentation was done i did leave it for another day just in in case and then i cold crashed and i added gelatin to the keg racked the beer on top seal transfer you can link to a seal transfer video also if you want to see how that is done two weeks later here we are i also treated this water by pre-boiling it. I have a video on that which just is released. Pre-boiling brewing water to lower your alkalinity and to just soften up water. I have an original gravity of 1043 and a final gravity of 1008. So that gives us a beer with a 4.6% ABV. Cheers. And how could we possibly improve this recipe? It's a beautiful beer. It's so clean really tasty but it's not an easy drinking beer i think i overdid it with the uh, cara aromatic maybe i should have used half the amount this was almost five percent and i know that it was lost but no one remembers a coward the color is spot on there what i wanted so if you just want color you can add some dark roasted grains instead at sparching really Big shout out to Angie's for sponsoring this video. First link in the description will take you to the page where you can read about all the brewing products. Nice. If you haven't checked out the seal transfer video, you should really go and check out that one. But if you have, maybe this video is better for you. Or else, I will see you in the next one. Cheers and thanks for watching. Hope to answer. Hello.